Yeah, these guys are starting to understand. If you're fighting for SFT, it's going to be a tough fight. Look at both these guys with outstanding records. Um, we're seeing a little bit of an age gap there. Um, uh, Caetano, a little bit older. Um, and then we see that reach advantage that he's probably going to have on the feet. Um, and we'll see if Alicante is able to close the distance able to mix it up avoid uh katano submissions and we're in for a real treat here with in the sft catchweight division you see at the top of your screen alejandro uka Caetano. i'm excited for this one jay i'm expecting a lot of movement between these guys 130 pounds both coming out in that southpaw stance yeah definitely excited for this one quality fight as we move to the uka Katato, a little fighters. bit of jab and yep, like we were saying, he's got that reach in it. Ooh, Alicante doing a good job closing the distance. Nice knee there from Caetano to good the ground. Down to they start go. things off. Yeah, this is what, you know, this is a great move for Alicante. He's got to take that height advantage away mm -hmm. from Caetano. And anytime you can start a fight on top, you know, pressuring, trying to wear out your opponent a little bit. If you're a grappler, that's what you want to do. But you got to look out for this choke, though. Alicante in a little bit of trouble here now. Yeah. Caetano trying to put on the choke. Caetano with an arm in guillotine standing still. Alicante needs to fight the hands to get free here. Good job there. Good job breaking that up. Yeah, Alicante dry too. He's he's lucky he got out of that. Yep. Caetano just letting him know he's going to be there with the submissions all night. That's where he went. Ooh, good check right hand there. Gaetano has a great ground game, as does Alicante. Yeah, both guys are comfortable wherever this fight goes. We're going to see who, who's going to have the advantage in, in each area. Ooh, good Ga kick there. Gaetano ranked number 12 by Tapology. He's got plenty of submissions. Oh, look at him going right, right now. Oh, he's he got jumps it. the guillotine. Oh, That's tight. It's, it's closed, too. He's it's, got it's the closed. I wonder. Alicante looking, oh, looked like he was about to tap. Now he's fighting the hands. Alicante he thought fighting, about it. Boy, he's a fighter. Beautiful a... guillotine technique right here. Alicante still in trouble. If he can pop his head out, he'll end up on top. There we go. Whew, Man, beautiful submission. There. But ne yep, now Katate on, on the bottom. That's pretty amazing. Get out of that one alive. Yep, now he's on top. Let's see if he can do some damage here. Have a chance to watch Caetano work off his back. He has an active guard. Yeah, you can tell he's comfortable on his back, but, you know, Alicante knows what he's doing on top here. Let's see if he can, you know, get some damage done, maybe pass his guard. It almost looked like Caetano was lobbying the referee, saying that Alicante wasn't yeah. doing anything. Stand us up. Yeah. <laughs> Looking for that quick stand up. <laughs> it's like it, you just you just fell into your guard, buddy. It doesn't happen yeah. that fast. <laughs> You know, and that's the problem with going for a guillotine. You know, you almost get it, but right now, Alicante is winning the fight. He's landing, the, you know, those shots don't feel good. You do a lot of damage from this top guard position. Wow. He looked like he was See, all so over him. slowing things down. I think he, yeah. I think he, he came close to tapping. He was he was thinking about tapping out I, yeah, just a I minute so ago, too. and now he's on top winning the fight. I mean, this is amazing. Yeah, that's the issue with going for, you know, there's certain moves like the guillotine, you know, we've seen it in, in big fights. You miss the guillotine and then and now you're on bottom and sometimes it's not that easy to get up. These guys are really good at controlling guys on top. So Alicante doing good work here, you know, just eating up time, win, winning this part of the round, landing some decent shots. Was it good for his round? Yeah, so far so good for Alicante. You know, and a good back and forth with the, with, with the submission attempts. Great no. place for Alicante to be negating the height and reach advantage of Muka Caetano. Yep. And at this point, Caetano's got to know he's losing when, with the, on the bottom here. You know, instead of looking to strike, he should be looking to, you know, be really aggressive throwing up submissions or tr just try to get back to your feet because, you know, you're losing the fight when you're when you're on the bottom here. Even though he does look like he's getting pretty active with those elbows, you know, he landed some good shots. Oh, this is all he's Alicante. He's taking a beating here. Yeah. Look at to... Alicante doing everything right. Yeah, you can see Caetano trying to turn into him, trying to get back to his feet. 
Now trying to get back to his feet. Great. Finally gets back to yeah, his feet. Yeah, and that's what he should have done, you know, two minutes ago. But now, look, he's using that reach. Oh, he heard him. Oh, my God. Beautiful right oh, hand. The oh, the knee. Oh, he goes down. Oh, man. Oh, what a goodness. knockout. Alejandro Muka Caetano oh, knocks out Joao Alicate Elias with a knee. And there must have been like Whoa. seconds left to go in the round. This is a wow. what a what a finish. That's one of the weight. best knockouts that we've seen for SFT. Beautiful combo. Landed that the huge punches, the jumping knee, finished off Alicate. What a highlight reel uh finish right there.